What is up ladies and gentlemen and we are back with another feeding video So today we will be feeding some scorpions, some tarantulas and some of the sand spiders So without further ado, first stop is an update as well uh, One of our Eupalestrus campus stratus has molted out And guess what? It became a matured male You can probably see that sperm web over there Yep, so that's the matured male, just molted out about one and a half weeks ago. So let's feed it a mealworm, a superworm, sorry. Oh, Ecampus stratus matured male. I'm going to be sending this to one of my friends who has a matured female and let's see how it goes with the pairing i'll probably go over to his place and do the recording with him you guys might know who it is once the recording is done his voice will be very prevalent for everyone to remember and know so let's see how it goes yeah let's move on to the next specimen then right up next we have another update as well as another feeding uh, this is the Emperor Scorpion, Padanus Imperator or Imperator, depending on how you pronounce it. But this big boy has molted out about two and a half weeks ago. And as you can see, this is its uh, seventh Insta size. So he's ready to have a great ulala time with the female. So before I start pairing them, I'm definitely going to have to bulk him up a little bit with some super worms. And uh, he is definitely hungry. <laughs> he is definitely hungry. Uh, well, I know I just molted out like rather recently, so I'm going to give it like two super worms instead of one. Wow, 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 ooh, okay, relax, relax, boy, relax, boy, I'm gonna give you another one, boy. There you go. Enjoy your meal, buddy. Because you're gonna have a great time enjoying the female as well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for the underaged audience. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the Padinus Imperator, Imperator um, male. Let's move on to the next specimen. And right up next, we're gonna be feeding some sand spiders. All right, let's see if this particular six-eyed sand spider is hungry i'm gonna give it a big worm i can see it right there i'm gonna put it right here give it a little mealworm will it jump out i'm hoping it does Oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The venom effect took it. The venom took effect so fast. The meal will barely had time to even like flick, you know, flick its tail or something away. Wow. Okay. All right. Not to self. Don't screw around with a six eyed sand spider. Nope, nope, never, nope, nope, nope. Alright, let's move on to the next sand spider. Alright, next up we have the other Eupalestris campostratus. This is the female. And she hasn't molted out yet, but I suspect that she will molt out within the month or 
a couple of months. So while we wait for that, let's feed her. Hey, what? Hey, there we go. Enjoy your meal, buddy. God, these guys are underrated in the hobby. They are very underrated. But damn, they are beautiful. All right, let's move on to the next best man. And right up next, we have the Pisolateria striata. This is a male. I have a friend who owns a female, so once he matures, I'm gonna go for some tap taps. Some great ooh la time. Eh? Yep, boy ain't hungry today. Let's go on to the next specimen then. So while feeding my pets, I completely forgot that I have s uh, went way past my lunch time. So now it's my time to eat my lunch. Spaghetti bolognese, let's go! And next up, we have another six-eyed sand spider. This one is a smaller one. So let's see if I can find a smaller mealworm. If I can't find, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to resort to giving it a lateralis roach. I'm just gonna take some time over Oh no. Oh! Wow, okay. I, 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 I just looked away for a second and... That roach is dead. <laughs> that was too fast. A little bit too fast. Ooh, alright. Six eyes and spider speed and venom. Cannot play play. Let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have another small six-eyed sand spider, so we're going to be giving it, again, another lateralis roach. I might have accidentally killed the roach. That's not good. My tweezer skills are not as good as our good friend Exotic Slayer, but I try to do my best every time. Let's see if I can coax it. Yep. <laughs> well, it is rather interested in it. So I'm just gonna leave it there and let it be. <laughs> uh, big mistake of crushing the roach a bit too hard. Oh well, let's move on to the next one then. Alright, right after a delicious lunch. We are continuing the feeding video with a Hapactera pulcropis, which is apparently out of frame. Why you gotta be such a twat? Oh, oh. Again, you're going out of frame. Not nice. I don't like it. So let's see how it reacts to a superworm. Oh Jesus, bro! It's a worm. What are you so angry about? Oh wait, I forgot. Golden blue leg baboon, baboon species. They do this all the bloody time. Well, can't can't really blame them. I mean, you guys have seen my uh, my monocentrophus before communal. That's always at least one of them doing this. Finally, it decided to take down the superworm. Good on you, buddy. Now you don't have to give me the deaths there. Look at that. It's just staring at me, staring right into my soul. It wishes death upon me. Well, too bad you are eating 
you ate therefore you should be happy and grateful so let's move on to the next specimen and the final sand spider that will be feeding this is my matured male six-eyed sand spider as uh, you can see right there is the mole it matured out into a matured male six-eyed sand spider i'll be sending it out for breeding with a friend's female so better fatten him up before he goes No hesitation. And yeah. That was fast. <laughs> Injected really quick. Damn, these guys are just so amazing. And deadly at the same time. Not suitable for beginners. No, don't make that mistake. Alright, let's move on to the next specimen then. Right up next, we will be feeding one of our most venomous scorpions in the collection. This is the Hatentota Tamless. Let's see, what can I give it? Actually, speaking of which, I think I should give this guy a Lateralis Roach. It wants to live, but destiny says you cannot. Wait, what? What? Eh? 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 Come on. Out. That's weird. That's the first time my Hot Tota Tamil has actually rejected food. Hey! Alright, let's go on to the next specimen then. Right up next, we have the Hot Tota Franz Ranieri. So, let's see. If it wants to eat a lat, I want to give it a lateralis roach. Decently sized one at least. No hesitation whatsoever, straight to the point, and the lad is dead. All right, that was a ra rather fast takedown. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Well, that's the hot and tota front runnery. Let's move on to the next specimen. And to finish up this video, we will be feeding the Androctonus Spec North. Let's see if I have the appropriate size superworm for it. Or I might just end up having to go. Oh, yeah, that's a good size superworm. Boom! Gentle takedown for an androctonus. Very gentle. That's the androctonus spec north. Oh, the sting. The stab that finishes everything. The killer stab. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of the video. So you guys know the drill. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. You guys are new to the channel. Welcome to Inverts Paradise. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be updated for future uploads. We'll be uploading feeding videos, species reviews, husbandry advice, breeding tips and tricks on how to achieve proper breeding with scorpions especially. So if you guys got anything to share out, you know, any advice that you can share in the comments, you know the drill. Leave a comment down below or, you know, if you just want to strike up a conversation, perfectly fine. I will always reply and read the comments when it's when the notification pops up so with that inverts paradise would like to say thank you for joining us and inverts paradise out